Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Ops Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduke, and this is tip number 124, Charts in Power Apps Portals. One way to provide your portal users with useful information in a visually engaging way is embedding a chart. In this tip, I'll cover how you can do that using Liquid. Power Apps Portals supports adding charts that you've created for model-driven apps in Dataverse. While I'm not going to get into how to create a chart in this video, there are a lot of different chart types and options that allow you to create a wide array of different visualizations. Once you've got your chart created, you need two key pieces of information in order to add the chart to your portal. The ID of the chart and the ID of the view. I find the easiest way to get these IDs is to open the chart and the view via make.powerapps.com. For a chart, you'll see the ID in its query string parameters. For a view, you'll see its ID as the last part of the URL. The view that you specify is used to filter the records that are included within the chart. The columns specified in the view don't really matter. However, it's important to know that charts also respect table permissions. So whatever permissions you have are applied on top of any filters defined in the view. Once you have these two IDs, use the chart liquid tag with the ID and view ID parameters to display the chart on your portal. It's important to know that there are some limitations with what charts can be displayed on a portal. Certain types of charts are not supported, including donut and tag. Also, there are certain out-of-the-box charts within Dataverse and Dynamics 365 that are not supported. To see the full list of unsupported charts, refer to the Microsoft documentation linked in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the Power Apps Portals tip number 124 on charts in Power Apps Portals useful.